Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the Lockdown Choir. Um, it's amazing what we've achieved so far during this time. It's really been an extraordinary project and it's growing and growing. You guys are just singing better and better every time and I feel like even though we're all stretched out across the world, we're sort of, we're sort of meshing as a choir. It's really nice. Um, I'm getting better at video editing. <laughs> Uh, my learning curve has been whew, really high and I've upgraded my system behind me so I can edit much better um, and hopefully you've seen the videos are looking even nicer than ever um, so I'm going to introduce the next movement to you all there's three movements left that have the full choir um, and they get they're, they're, they're quite big ones <laughs> There's one coming up called Skeptic Mystic, which is a really um, energized dialogue between two voices, which is going to be super fun. We're going to do that one after this one. And then there's the grand, the big finale, um, which is the big thing that ends the whole oratorio, which is going to be really exciting to do as a lockdown choir. Um, but now the, the, this one is called False. It's one of the first pieces I ever wrote for this. Oh, and just by the way, just to let you all know, we're not really doing them in order. Um, the whole piece is made up of loads of movements. Some of them are instru instrumental with readings. The whole work begins with this huge overture called Seven Eventful Insights that has seven readings. Um, I think it might be somewhere on YouTube. I'll have a look for that. We did it in Portugal in a conference with seven amazing young musicians from the town that we, that we were in. Um, anyway, so we haven't really done it in order. That's just to explain that if it's a little bit confusing, the themes of the lyrics and stuff. Hopefully by the end of it, it's going to come together and you'll hear, you'll sort of see how the whole work comes as a whole. I'm going to try and make a video to explain that to everybody because it could be a bit confusing if you just go in and then hear it. So anyway, this one, I, I was wondering which one to do. And what with all of the stuff going on in the world at the moment, um, especially in America and across the world with the Black Lives Matter demonstrations, with the police brutality and with this kind of um, systemic racism that we are all fa facing. Some, you know, we're all somehow a part of this world and hopefully we're trying to make it more just for everybody. I just felt that this was a really powerful movement to do this week at <laughs> this time. Um, so yeah, and I think Teilhard de Chardin would have a lot to say. Um, anyway, this, this piece is called False. It's a really kind of experimental movement. The, the, my idea was that um, it's dealing with all these voices that come to us in the world and then at a certain point we have to just shout false. Uh, you know, you hear so many voices on the radio and on TV and conflicting voices from politicians and at a certain point some sort of truth has to come bubbling out so it's quite simple to do with the choir the idea is that uh before the performance the day before the performance three radio broadcasts are recorded which i have done bbc sky news and fox news and um they're played simultaneously on speakers and then the instruments on top of those radio performances you'll see in the score just like an eight bar thing with um, repeat marks and I've put in there the instruments all come in at different points creating these loops and the idea is that the conductor just brings the instruments in as, as he or she feels during the performance and it's basically each one is doing a very simple loop but it creates this um, sort of mechanized sort of slightly jarring like a machine that's turning and turning and turning and we can't stop it like the machine of the world of capitalism of systemic racism of of the political structures they're all just turning and turning we feel like we're caught in a machine and then you'll hear me count one two three four and the choir's job is just to shout false so you don't even have to choose a note um, they are written in notes in there but when we did the performance it was more powerful to just <laughs> shout them out so you'll hear me now you'll hear me shouting like it's easier to shout when you're in a big group of the choir in a room and everyone's getting energized but I'm aware that you're all in isolation with the headphones on. So um, 
I have made. I have just shouted false, and I think, and I've put the radio broadcast on, and the instruments are just the MIDI files because I'm waiting for the instrumentalists. To, I'll send that out to them. So if the way I think you should do it is just have your headphones on, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, hear the radio broadcasts, think about all of these injustices, think about all of these things that are, are like a machine, and then just sh shut your eyes or open your eyes and shout false. That happens three times, so you'll hear me count after the machine. One, two, three. So, so there's three falses and then a reading. And then the bit I need to teach you is um, the end part, which is this sort of resolution that I wrote. There's these beautiful words that Fred wrote towards the end. To reach the sun, nothing less is required than the combined growth of the entire foliage. And that's just such a good statement looking at nature that we can take. The entire foliage has to, has to grow combined. So the way I've done it, it's actually going to be tricky enough to do because we can't rely on a click track on a metronome because there's, I've kind of written it in open timing. So it does sort of rely on a conductor. So what we've done is I've recorded the tenor and bass parts and Quiva has recorded the soprano and alto parts. And you'll hear me say sopranos and, and then that's when you breathe and the sopranos come in. Once you're in, it should be quite easy. It just follows as the breath. It might be worth listening to a couple of times. So sopranos, you start, you do, you just stay on an F sharp the whole way. So you just go. To reach the sun, nothing less is required than the combined growth of the entire foliage of the entire foliage. And then you hold that note like a sort of hummy sound if you can, as far as you can. If you need to trail off, just trail off because there'll be a choir. Foliage is, I had to structure that in a triplet tied onto a longer note. Don't worry too much about that, just foliage. Foliage is the way we're gonna say it. So tenor, uh, altos, you come in on the note lower. So what you create is, we're gonna create this sort of movement down, but it's not a movement down in one voice, it's a movement down as a choir. So as each voice enters, we move down. So, so the, the soprano sing to reach the sun. I'll sing it one octave lower. And you come in on the E. Nothing less is required. So you two are jarring a little bit there. You're very close. But that's okay because it's going to resolve. But you come now down one more. To the combined growth. And then you just stay on that D. See if you can hold it out again. So sopranos and altos, you get to do this sustainy thing. Tenors, you come in on the word growth, so be careful for that. And you come in on a B. So we've got this entire growth. So what you do is you make it into like a slightly minor sounding chord. B minor. So you get to have that special note. When it's just a D and an F sharp, it sounds quite pleasant. And then darker so nothing less is required then the combined growth of the entire oh sorry i've said that totally wrong you come in on an a growth and then you move up to a b i was looking at my score thinking who wrote this piece it was a little while ago that i wrote this so you come in on an a which makes a lovely d major chord Then you move up to the B of the entire foliage, and then stay on that B of the entire foliage, and then back down to the A. Foliage. Does that make sense? I feel like I confused you there now. Ten is coming on an A, up to a B, stay on the B, back to the A for the final foliage, and then finally the bases. You come in on that A. 
Put your tennis game on. Um. Of the entire and then you go. Of the entire down to a G. Foliage. And then you resolve. Foliage. So first of all, sopranos come in to reach the sun. Then on nothing, in come the altos, one note lower. Down to the D, and then in come the on growth, in come the tenors on an A, up to a B, making it minor. And then finally of the, the second time of the, in come the basses. You'll see that in the score. So have a go. Now there's one more thing to ask of you all. Um, when you make your video, if you're going to send it, you're probably going to send it to me on your computer. So if you put it in your computer and it's a really big file, some of them coming in are like 350 megabytes, which is a lot. Uh, if you can open it with QuickTime, go in the file export and then export it as the lowest quality one, which is 420, I believe, or 480 or something like that, P. That would be great. And then send me that lo lower res file because last month my, <laughs> my internet ran out <laughs> in the month because I was downloading so many huge files. And anyway, I'm, when I get them, I'm just going to make them lower anyway because they're all going to be quite small on the page so if you can do that that would be great if that confuses you please don't worry and just send me the file as normal guys this is great fun um yeah same old thing listen to it in your headphones shout get passionate and then this beautiful ending and send me the videos if you can lower the resolution brilliant okay look forward to hearing from you guys <laughs>